car like this, no other way to introduce it other than by firing up that nice sounding V8. 410 kilowatts of supercharged LSA from the Club Sport 30th anniversary. We've all had that car we've regretted selling. I've regretted selling quite a few of mine, but one of my loves was a Club Sport. It wasn't quite a 30th anniversary, it was a VS from back in 1995. It was a great car. I loved it, I loved the way it went, I loved the way it sounded, and I'm so happy to be back behind the wheel of a Club Sport again. Unlike the LSA that's in the GTSR, this one has 25 kilowatts less. You probably wouldn't notice it just hunting around like this on the, on the highway in city traffic. You may notice it on the track, but who really cares? It sounds delicious, if you can say a car sounds delicious. We were given the opportunity to film this car today by one of our fans, and we thank them very much for tossing us the keys and entrusting us with their pride and joy. Uh, it was a bit worried, it was a little bit grey overhead when we started filming today and there was a little bit of wet stuff on the ground. I often refer to it as liquid horsepower, but in a car like this you don't need liquid to uh, create more horsepower, that is for sure. What makes the Club Sport R8 30th anniversary special to me is the fact that you can get most of the features that you find in the GTSR in this model here. Being a 30th anniversary car, I think it's quite special to have something that's A, numbered, like we know this one here is build number 22, and B, something that's made of a limited run. HSV threw a fair bit into this. It's got torque vectoring, which is one of the features that's standard in the, uh, in the GDSR and the GDSR W1. It's got the LSA, it's got all the good bits like the head-up display, the nice feeling steering wheel, You've got your really comfortable seats, which you've come to expect in a HSV, with all the HSV logos in there as well. Some extra special highlights. It's just highlighting the, uh, the 30th anniversary. So you've got your HSV 30 on those front guards there, in the door sills, and even the floor mats. The sticker that I keep banging on about, the sticker that I love so much, the one that says HSV, I just want one. 30th anniversary doesn't get that sticker, it gets a special sticker of its own, one that just says HSV 30. Enough said. VF Commodore, or the Zeta platform, gave us a couple of really good bits. One of them is push button start, which I think makes a car that little bit extra special, and in the automatic versions of these HSVs, you also get remote start, so you can sit outside the car and start it remotely and enjoy that V8 burble. VF also gave us rain sensing wipers, head up display, the automatic headlight features that we have just grown to love in cars nowadays. Again, we've got the dual zone climate control adjustable between the driver and the front seat passenger. One thing that we do miss out on with our reviews is the ability to put a car like this on the track. Now, I promise our fan, we're not gonna be putting this one here on the track, but if we do get the go ahead and we do get access to a track, which is something that we are working on for you, we will make sure that we give these things a bit of a hard time and we put them through their paces. It'll be a lot of fun to watch, but a lot more fun for us to actually do for you. There is no shortage of reviews of these cars, and I'm not going to bore you with all the performance side of things. In fact, in the, uh, the post-production, in our edit, we will probably get some figures up for you with the performance specs right here. Can you do that for me, Julian? The HSV range gives you a couple of different drive modes, all controlled by the little dial here in the, uh, in the center near your gear shifter. So in tour mode, nice and quiet, nice and sedate, and quite a comfortable ride. They have got the MRC suspension. Crank it over one, you get sports mode. Activates the bimodal exhaust, a little bit more of a note for you. Down low, it does go back into a quieter mode when you hit a certain rev range. I think that's all because of the EPA requirements. It also opens up a little bit more cold air intake, and I'll give it a bit of a blip. Not sure if you'll pick it up on the audio here. 
but it does sound that little bit better and it does give you that crackle. Then you've got one more choice and that is performance mode. Performance mode obviously gives you that little bit more tweak with your gear changes, it makes your steering that little bit heavier, even, even heavier than what it would normally be like in your sports mode. Tour is again just that little bit lighter and it does change the way the stability control of the vehicle works. You can switch all those modes off by keeping your finger on the traction control button or the ESP off button and they'll then disengage so now we have no traction control, we have no ESP and we can have a whole lot of fun but I promise you we won't be doing any of that today. The HSV Club Sport 30th doesn't miss out on big brakes, you get your big four pot brakes and you can option them up to a six pot if you wanted to. They are a nice big 20 inch wheel and they are exclusive to this range, they're the Rapier and they're nice black matte, they look they look the part and again you catch a glimpse of this car driving past a window you can't help but look at it. Under the bonnet like the uh, the GDSR you do have that supercharged V8 which we've talked about before but instead of having the red engine cover these ones have got a black engine cover. Not a very big difference but it is something that I'd like to point out to everybody watching. We've had a great time making this video for you today big thank you to our fan for reaching out to us and giving us access to their cars. If there's anyone out there that wants us to do a review on their car, by all means get in touch with us and we, we'll jump behind the wheel and happily have a, have a bit of a play with it, take it for a spin and if there's anything special you want us to mention about it, we'll make sure we do. Keep checking us out on our YouTube channel and all our socials, subscribe, do whatever you need to do, but keep watching and enjoy. Thank you.